Hello, hello, hello everyone! Happy Monster Afternoon sa ating mga monsterpreneur out there. Labi na gits sa ating mga viewers who turn monsterpreneur. Again, I'm your host. I am Jonas on the go and welcome sa ating Monster Kitchen Negosyo TV featuring Negosyo to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting our show. And to be patamog pa dahil, here are some reminders for our viewers. Make sure to like and follow the Facebook page of Monster Kitchen para di ka mauwahi sa mga updates. Say hi to us in the comment section and indicate your location. Also, mga to show mga friends, so please be respectful sa inyong mga posts. You can also write your questions in the comment section and we will try to have our fitness chefs answer them during the show. We will post a replay of each show para sa mga malate. No worries, you can watch the replay after. And karon atong question of the day, mga monster premier. Give at least two essential ingredients of pasta carbonara. We need only two essential ingredients, ha? I'm sure karon mga kamon sa pero excited na gitmo kaya ako sa excited na sa kung makalearn sa atong recipe of today. Karon atong recipe will be. Pasta carbonara. And mga Mr. Pino, not only that, kay naapay lain na itong recipe. Duha ka recipe inyong malern. Pasta carbonara and the fresh pasta noodles. Okay. So, prepare now your phone, your pen, and your paper because we will now show again sa inyong mga screen ang ingredients. Please screen shot. Okay, our ingredients for the fresh pasta, we have one egg, 20 grams semolina, 80 grams flour, one teaspoon olive oil. And for the ingredients of pasta carbonara, we have 50 grams parmesan cheese grated, two pieces eggs, 250 grams heavy cream, 250 grams ideal spaghetti noodles, 100 grams Bacon slice, slice, chop, large onion chop, 10 grams garlic, white pepper, and parsley. And karon mga monster pressure, I'm so excited na gibutan ano, dili na ko dugayin ako nang introduce atong chef of the day. She is the program head of baking and culinary arts at Monster Kitchen Academy. And also one of the owners of Time Me Up and Bite Me Up. Okay, let's have let us all welcome Chef Kathleen Dano. Let's give her a big round of applause. Hello, Monsterpreneurs. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Hello, Jonas. And Chef. On some money we prepare Karon Nakuan. Yeah. Yes, today we prepared a very special recipe. It's carbonara. It's something very basic na we cook at home. For so we love our family loves pasta. So um and I'm very happy to share it to you today. Bring it on. Thank you, Jonas. So, good afternoon. So, today, I will teach you how to make carbonara. But I know we can use two kinds of pasta. So, one is a basic pasta dough, and the other one is an instant pasta. So, in case na wala kayong instant pasta, at least you have another option to make your own pasta at home. So what's good with the uh, fresh pasta? It it has more protein, and um, it the flavor also is much much better. But there's only few basic ingredients that you need at something that you have at home. Okay, so we'll start first um, with our flour. We have here our all-purpose flour, semolina flour. So we also have our oil and egg yolk. Eh, actually egg. Yeah, but in case you want um, more richness, you can add more 
um, more eggs. Okay, but for this basic recipe, I think we're uh, we're good already. All right, so we'll mix all our dry ingredients, our semolina. So if you have a clean um, table, we can use this, but the best would be granite. Okay, granite table. So just clean it, sanitize it, and clear the table. So it will be easier to knead. Okay, but if you don't have um, like a space, you can use a bowl, a stainless bowl, or you can use a kitchen aid. Okay, so now we have here our strainer. We're going to strain our dry ingredients. Everything that you need, we can always provide. Okay. That's it. Strain it. Okay, then. Okay, so now we're gonna have to make a well. This is a little messy, but it's it's all right. It's worth all the effort. So you make the hole or the the space inside would big enough. Okay, then you add your egg and you add your olive oil. Okay, then it's time to get messy. You can use your fork to slowly combine your dry ingredients with your wet ingredients, but I want to be able to control it, so I'll use my fingers. So this one, that's what you want to avoid. <laughs> okay, slowly do a circular mo mo motion. Make sure you don't break the wall, but slowly you combine your flour with your egg and your oil. Okay, you can do this with your kids. It uh, would be a nice bonding with them. If you don't want your fingers to get dirty, you can use a fork. Okay, keep the wall. Later, we will have to knead it. Okay, to, to develop the gluten. Okay, if you'll ask what is the gluten, actually the function of gluten is it helps um, give your your pasta a good um, texture and it makes it really stretchable. But if you don't have a semolina flour, which is kind of challenging to find in CDO. You can replace the semolina flour with an all-purpose flour. The good thing if you have a semolina is it has a very... Um, the, I mean, the output is of your pasta is more firm and um, very little chance to really overcook it. So you have a very nice bite to your pasta okay so now it's time to very very easy bye okay then you let's try to yeah. let's try to uh, start to need Ready to develop the gluten because if you don't knead it properly or you don't knead it enough, what's gonna happen is um, your pasta will be very tough. So, what you want is so, what you do is you fold and knead, fold and knead, and use your finger. Okay, until you get a very smooth texture. You can dust the table with flour. 
if this becomes very sticky, okay, then you continue to fold and knead. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna we we have a dough that we made ahead of time. So this is what you want to achieve. Okay, so you place the dough in a, any bowl with a little oil. Then this is what you want a very soft and firm and smooth texture. If you stretch it, you see the smooth texture. That's when you know that you have the right consistency. Okay, that's the sign that you have to stop kneading. Then this one, um, you rest it for around 30 minutes. Okay. So later, we'll be back again. So I can show you how to um, roll the dough using the pasta maker. Okay, Jonas, do you have any questions? Yes, Chef. Nana ko nagawa a question for our viewers today. Okay, so now our questions. Nana tay questions, no? Kaagi okay. sa ato mga viewers. Okay, ang yung question is, makaform ba tawo other pasta out from this fresh pasta recipe? Yes, from this basic pasta recipe, maybe you can make a lot. Okay, but the most basic pasta that you can use is lasagna. You can make ravioli, you can make linguine, spaghetti, or angel hair. Okay. So, there's so much that you can make from this basic pasta recipe. I didn't learn this from pasta carbonara anyway. So, another question, Chef. Is it healthier than the instant pasta? Um, for me, the pasta, the fresh pasta is better because it has more flavors and um, it can you can easily cook it for 90 seconds okay and it's not dried so it's fresh so there's no preservative in your fresh pasta okay but healthy and this question yeah very healthy do i need to use a different type of flour to dunk the pasta when rolling cutting and drying um actually you can use an all-purpose flour some people they use oil, but I think the the all-purpose flour would be enough. Okay, Chef. There you have it, Mama Serpino. Natubag na ni Chef ang inyong mga tag sa tag sa kapangwatana. Okay, back to you, Chef. Okay, thank you, Jonas. So here we have the dough that was rested for 30 minutes. So what you do is you cut the dough. Okay, so you dust first with flour para hindi mag-stick sa, sa table. By the way, we have here the pasta maker. Para at least you'll have an idea. Um, this pasta maker has um, a number. It's 1 to 7. Okay, if you put it in the 7, ito yung pinaka-wide niya. As you go lower... Okay, let's say if you go to one, you see that it's very narrow already. So it depends on what you're making and until you achieve your thickness. So you don't really have to go to seven to one. But it, when you think that you have the right thickness, you can stop already. Okay, so here other pasta maker have spaghetti, linguine, and angel hair. But for this pasta maker, we have linguine and we also have um a, like an angel hair a thinner version of the pasta there are also other kinds of pasta that you can attach in a kitchen aid but don't worry in case that you don't have a pasta maker at home you can just use a rolling pin and you can use a cutter or you can use your knife to cut the pasta okay so, kahit sino makakagawa nito. Alright, so we cut into half. Okay. Okay, then 
we start rolling our okay we'll dust a little floor then we'll start rolling our dough So the reason why you also roll it is you want to have um, a good shape so it won't be very hard to insert it in your pasta pasta maker. Okay, so we'll dust the little flour. Okay. So now we're gonna adjust the setting to seven. Okay. So if it you notice it's the you can put it in the middle part. Okay, wait, I think I need to make some adjustments. There you go. Okay, so this is number seven. Okay, then you adjust to six. Okay. Okay, you can also do you can do it twice. Now we're gonna adjust it to five. If you make it too thin, it's gonna break easily. So you have to make sure that you know what kind of thickness you want to achieve. Okay. So there you go. See? So now we're gonna have to adjust and place our pasta. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, you can hang this. Okay. Or we can place it in a wooden board right now so you can really see. Okay, so we'll just dust. Okay. So this is how, if you see it sticking together, don't worry. But this is just the right texture, the right thickness. So this is our pasta. Okay? All right. Okay, Jonas, do you have more questions? Yes, Chef. Na quick questions pa coming from our viewers. Okay, Chef, okay. which is expensive ba? Ang instant, no, ang instant na pasta or ang homemade ni mga pasta? Okay. I think, um, maybe... For practical reason, if you want really if you're making something volume, you can use the instant pasta since it's dried. Because if you cook around 200 grams, once it's cooked, it's going to be 400 grams. Then for fresh pasta, normally that's what you, you, you get because it's not processed, it's not dried. So I would say if it's small quantity, Maybe it's good that you do the fresh pasta. Okay? But if you're gonna do it in like a function or a big volume, better to use the instant. And the storage is longer. Okay, I don't have a question. Yes. Wala pa po akong ano, wala pa akong uh, pasta maker. May may suggest ka ba how to cut the pasta? If in case wala pa, wala ka pang equipment the pasta maker. Yes, if you don't have a pasta maker, you can use the rolling pin 
Okay, for to get the right thickness that you like. But for cutting it, you can roll it and just use a knife. Use a chef's knife to cut the right the thickness that you like. Or a cutter. Rolling uh, rolling cutter. So now we're going to make the carbonara pasta. But now using the instant pasta. Okay. So we're boiling the water. And we're adding some salt. Okay. So reminder, before you cook the pasta, you have to make sure that the water is boiling. Then that's the time you add the salt. So because if you add it early on, the, the water will not boil right away. So it will take a longer time for it to boil. And you don't need to add oil, okay? Because you can, there's a technique to do it for it not to stick together, okay? So I'm going to show that to you. So we have here an instant pasta. It's boiling. We added the salt. So you just let go. Wait for the bottom part to soften and start cooking. Okay, when you cook the pasta, you can use a stock pot or a saucepan. Just make sure it's big enough. The water that I place here is just halfway. Okay, you don't need to make it full. You're just extending the cooking time. Okay, so I'm using the ideal spaghetti pasta. The ideal spaghetti pasta is um, very, very firm and it has a good texture. And it will cook for 10 minutes. Okay? Okay, so I can start my timer. Okay. So if you notice, all the pasta are in. Are in. So... You just stir it a little so it will kind of loosen up and it will not stick together. And just let it cook through. So 10 minutes, you can use the water, the pasta water for your sauce because it has flavor already. And if you notice, I'm not, uh, this is the first thing that I prepared before cooking the pasta because I wanted to finish almost at the same time. So timing also is very, very important. So for our sauce, so we will mix we will mix our cream. Okay. Egg. If you want it to be more rich flavor, you can add more egg yolk. And we will add our Parmesan cheese. But I will leave maybe around one fourth of the Parmesan cheese so I can um, use it for a garnish later. So you just prepare it. Mix it together until everything is well combined. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move here and start heating our pan. So you wait for the pan to be hot enough before you add anything okay so it will cook equally so before you add your oil make sure the pan is hot enough so how would you know if it's hot enough you don't need to touch it just just um this height that you will have enough feel of the heat if you feel the heat under your palm here in your palm that means it's hot enough okay 
Okay, so we'll wait a little. Okay, we, maybe we can transfer to a bigger group. Okay. All right. So the pan is not yet hot enough. Maybe another one minute. Okay, so your heat now is high. But later, when I start cooking, I'm going to make it low-medium. Because the, the most um, uh, thing, uh, the most something that you have to really be careful is to cook your egg. Okay, so cook your egg na to, to a point that it will curdle. So you want it smooth, but you want it to be cooked just right. Okay, so lower the temperature. Okay, now we're gonna start heating our oil. So if you notice, I didn't put a lot of oil because if it's hot enough, you have the right equipment, you, you just need a little oil and it will be enough. So your food will not stick anymore. Okay? Then we add our bacon. So bacon, you can use bacon or pancetta. What is the difference between bacon and pancetta? Actually, bacon is uh, very much available in the market. So it is um, cured and it's smoked. While pancetta is also pork belly, but um, it's cured but not smoked. Okay, it's cured, dried, and yeah, but not smoked. Okay, so you saute. So you want the bacon to render. We will render the fat. So this is where you go get all the flavors. That's why you never go wrong with bacon. This is one of my favorite ingredients. Okay. Okay, wait. All right. Okay, so while you're sauteing, I'm going to add my garlic and onion, but I'll add my onion first since I want it to cook um, until translucent. Because the garlic, I like starting with the uh, onions first because the garlic burns easily and I want to cook my onions long enough. Okay, then we add our garlic. You have to prepare all the ingredients ahead of time. So never stop cooking without doing your mise en place. Mise en place means putting everything into place. So you measure, then put it in a tray. Follow your recipe. And do proper costing if you're gonna start a business with this. Okay? Okay. So, now... Our pasta is cooked. We will have to drain it first. No need to add oil. 
Because I want my sauce to, I want my pasta to absorb the sauce. So mostly the oil stops it from absorbing the the sauce. Okay. So I'm gonna transfer. Okay, so our sauce is so I'm gonna transfer it to another burner. So if you notice this has to be hot enough because remember we need to cook the sauce with but we need to turn off the heat. So we'll add the pasta first while it's hot. Okay. You can see the steam. Okay. So while we're mixing, now it's time. I turn off the heat. Now it's time to add the cream. So you have to stir continuously so it will not curdle. Okay, and you will mix, combine the pasta and the sauce very well. Okay. So you see the rich texture this is what we want because later if you that's why you have to eat it right away because the so the pasta will absorb the sauce and it will start to get dry so now is the time that we season it okay season it with a good amount of salt and i'm using white pepper since this is um a white sauce Okay. Of course, you need to taste it first. Can I have a small piece? Okay. So always taste before um, plating your pasta so you can still adjust. Okay. Okay. Hi. I forgot I have a mask. <laughs> okay. It's very, very good because the sauce is not dry. So the sauce is well combined with the pasta. The the pasta was cooked al dente, which is perfectly uh, done. So it's time now to plate it. Okay. So let's start plating. So we'll use. We'll use a big fork. And slowly plate it. Okay, just put a little. Dating is very important because the first thing that you need to satisfy 
is the site. That means it should look really good and appetizing. Okay, so sprinkle with Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle also with a good amount of parsley. So here is our carbonara pasta. Okay, Jonas. Yes, Chef, nanasad ko mga questions. Ikan sa ato mga viewers today. Dali na kayo ni Chef. Chef, can we use ham instead of bacon? You can use ham but not as a fat because the bacon has a purpose. It 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 can be used um the ham can be used an added ingredient. Okay. But the bacon gives flavor and fat. So it's not really a substitute but it's an additional ingredient. Additional lang din siya. Okay, another yes. question, Chef. I'd like to serve pasta to my guests. Is it possible to cook it ahead of time and keep it warm until dinner time? Um, I would suggest that you cook your pasta, okay? And after you cook your pasta, you set it aside. Okay. You can put it in a chiller as long as it's cooled down. Then your sauce can be stored also in the chiller. And when it's time for you to serve it, so all you need to do is you blanch your pasta in water, in boiling water for a few mm -hmm. seconds since it's cooked already and combine it with your sauce. Okay, then season. If you need to season, then just put parmesan cheese and parsley. Okay, okay, Rasha, no? I serve na siya later ang sauce o ang noodles. Okay, question again, Chef. Na, na mention mo kanina yung al dente. Al dente. What does that mean? Al dente means with a bite. Okay, so it's not, hindi siya lata. It's not mushy. So remember, when you cook your pasta, we, we still cook it again in a pan, di ba? Aside from boiling it. So you have to cook it just well enough that it's not hilaw in the lo sa loob. So wala siyang white na parang powdery na you can see when you cut the noodles so it's cooked but when you eat it you can still bite the texture of the pasta okay so question again uh, meron bang alternative sa parsley if in case walang parsley dito sa amin pwede ba gumamit ng iba um the best of course is fresh but if you don't have a parsley you can use the dried um herbs that's available in the market. Um, maybe oregano. You can use oregano or thyme. But um, parsley would always be best as fresh. Okay, Chef. Last question. Uh, ang ibang gigamit na oil is anuman olive oil. Pwede ba ito magamit ang vegetable oil? Um, at the best kasi ang olive oil. Olive oil kasi has the lowest smoking point. And um, but of course, if we don't have um, other available oils, we can use the vegetable oil. Ah, uh, okay. So thank you, Chef, for answering those questions. So you have a question, Chef Nur, na tubag ni Chef Claro ang yung pagtubag sa inyong tagsa tagsa ka mga questions, no? And please lang send niya po niyo mga questions sa tong comment section para later basin natin panasa matagal ng time sa pagtubag. And again, our question of the day is give at least two essential ingredients of pasta carbonara. O karon para gid mo lami ang inyong pasta carbonara, you may use this master gourmet gold one liter nga cream available at Monster Kitchen, okay? And we also have this one as our gamit nato nga instant noodles sa atong pasta carbonara. The ideal gourmet spaghetti noodles, no? One kilogram siya available at Monster Kitchen, okay, this one. And 
Kung magnegosyo na tano, para sa mga single orders, you can use our paper box. This one, no? This is the small size uh, paper box para sa mga single order. Okay? And para sa big orders, we have here. It's your business. It's all by 16 uh, aluminum tray para sa magbig Tag ko na order, mag-cater na mo. You can use this one. Okay, there you are, Mama Sir. When you're available, gihapon ni siya sa Monster Kitchen from all branches. Uh, the Australia Cathedral and the Mortola branch. And also the YSU. Kaya si Karun, no? Para mag-share sa Karun sa iyang creative packaging idea sa ito ng tawagun at school administrator. None other than Miss Nova Lumakton. Maayong hapon, mga kamonsepreneur. It's me again. So, another day for you to learn some packaging ideas for our carbonara. So, karon uso kaayo yun ang mga takeaways or mga takeouts. So, one of the product of Monster Kitchen is uh, what we call the lunchbox, which is a laminated brown silver. Uh, this is really good para sa ato ang mga carbonara or any pasta nga with sauce kay of course laminated siya dili pud siya dali mag trip down or dili pud daw dali magbasa ang ilalom so let's uh, ask the chef Kathy for us to help kung unsa una to pag uh, butang ang ato ang carbonara inside this one okay thank you ma'am Nova so you have to know also one recipe, ilan ba yung magagawa niya? Like, for this recipe, we can make around four um, lunch boxes. And you have to weigh everything per box. Para di equally distributed siya per box. Okay. So, maybe we can try. Maybe we need... Um, for this one... Okay, we can Okay, so for the carbonara, you can you when you you can use a digital weighing scale. Um that's point 1 because if it's point 5, it will not be accurate. Okay, so the weight will really matter. So you have to measure per recipe then divide. Okay? So for this, most probably, it will be around 100 or 150. If your cost is too high, you can make some adjustments after. It's either you reduce or you find a, a, a supplier that has a cheaper price. Okay. So let's weigh it. Okay. So I like this box because it's um it's laminated. laminated. Everything that you need. So, also it's a paper base na uh boxes na yun as uh yet along magmashi ang ilalom or yung ilalim ng ating packaging. This is a good one. Correct. This is a very, very good box. So, what you can do is you place a garlic bread if you like. Okay, but um, we have to garnish with parmesan cheese and also our parsley. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Chef. So, di ba, dilibot, pasabot niya kung nakapak ang ato ang mga meals kay dilibot siya guapa ang pag-plaster. Pag so, we will try to have it na with your personalized na mga stickers. Ayaw mo kalimot mga kamonsterpreneur na ang Monster Kitchen does also mga personalized nga mga stickers and branding for you. Okay, that's very important nowadays para ma mailhan nila kung si Kinsa ang nagbuhatan na sasama. Ani, you can put your uh, phone numbers, your name, as well as what is your 
And uh, this one is we always serve it fresh. So let's try this one. Just place it in, securing everything na silyado ang ato ang pagkaon. So there. We also have some samples. Kung kapong dili gusto o uh, paper base, we also have microwavables. You can creatively do uh, mga ingani na branding for another for paper box as well. Lunch box yapon siya pero laminated yapon ni siya pero not the silver uh, silver. So the same yapon sila o quality. This one as well. Kung dagko og serving, of course, we need the catering tray with lid. Then always po na to, pwede mabutang ang atong branding sa taas. So ayaw lang yun kalimot o bisita sa ato ang mga, sa pinakaduol ninyo nga Monster Kitchen Stores. O duuli, pinaminti ang ato ang team kay always na ready to attend to you any personal nga needs ninyo. And of course, ang ato ang kuan karon Ang ato ang panahon nga ja, let's get contact with our mga utensils. This is a good way also because uh, Monster Kitchen also offer the wooden spoons and forks. Kana siya. So always safe ang ato ang kuan pag pack sa ato ang mga utensils and it also creates a feel sa ato ang mga customers na safe o ganang uncontaminated ang ato ang mga utensils. Then ayo kalimot for big uh, groups, pwede ta mabuhat og ingani. The same yapon with your brand. Okay, para madumduman jud mo na ingani ka safe o ingani ka creative pod ang ato ang mga packaging ideas dere. So, kana siya. Ayaw kalimot. Okay, for the stickers and any personalized, uh, personalized nga mga pabuhat ninyo, bisita sa Monster Kitchen stores. And Chef, I know you will teach us how to cost our carbonara. Yeah, so this is the Kaya most siya. exciting part. I know most awaited, Danila. The biggest challenge if you have a business is costing. Sige, so I will explain to you so maybe we can show the uh, screen the costing. Okay, so for our pasta carbonara, we have you can see in the screen that there's the number of grams and the ingredient and how much the cost is per ingredients. So it's very very important that you have a standard recipe if you're gonna start a business. So the total cost per recipe is 247. The yield is good for four paper meal boxes. Okay, so for the total ingredients per serving is 61.75. The cost of the packaging is 10 pesos. So ingredients plus packaging is 71.25. Plus, we add our utilities and manpower, which is 14.35. So, overall cost na pohunan is 86.10. Then, you multiply by 2 or 100% na kita. So, the total venta per box is 172.20. Less pohunan. Okay. So of 86.10 so ang kita natin or halin per box is 86 pesos and 10 centavos so that's a very very good ano na, na kita okay Jonas okay yes. sir atong question is give at least two essential ingredients of pasta carbonara Okay, so, yes. Okay, so for the three essential ingredients, Jonas, we have our egg, parmesan, bacon. Okay, if you can add cream. Okay, 
Yes, at least we need two ramen chef. So any of that, no, sa so foreign mong gihatag, any of that, pwede na nga budak. Yes, Thank chef, you. it's about time to uh, final message. Na, first, before sa final message, would like to give some tips para sa mga viewers kay gaabanggi na sila sa imong tips karon. Yes, of course. So for the five tips, the first tip that I could uh, share with you is when you cook the carbonara, don't mix the sauce and noodles na may heat. Okay? You have to take it off the heat. So your egg will not curdle. Okay? So for the second one is you have to prepare all your ingredients ahead of time. Never start cooking without um, your ingredients arranged and uh, prepared ahead, okay? So for the third tip is you have to use more egg yolks if you want your pasta carbonara to be, to be uh, very, very rich and flavorful, okay? So for the next tip is you have to cook the pasta al dente. Never cook your pasta or overcook your pasta or else it will really, um, the output won't be very, very good. Okay? And for the last is since this is a pasta, you have to serve your pasta immediately. So timing is very important. When it's dinner, dinner time, maybe you can prepare this 30 minutes before you eat or maybe an hour. But make sure it's hot, okay? In case that it dries out, you just add, toss it in a pan and just add a little cream. All right? Okay, so we would like to thank Monster Kitchen Negosho TV. And um, don't forget to buy the ingredients at Monster Kitchen store. So today we use the ideal spaghetti noodles. We also use the Master Gourmet cream. Master Gourmet Cream, which you can buy at any Monster Kitchen store. And we also use um, Monster Kitchen All-Purpose Flour. So visit any Monster Kitchen store. And if you have more questions, please do follow me through Facebook. And also, we'd like to invite you also to try our... Uh, we deliver food also at Tie Me Up. And um, please like also the Monster Kitchen Store Facebook page. So thank you, everyone. And thank you for watching, watching this episode with us today. Stay safe and God bless you all. Thank you very much, Chef Coffee. Thank you for sharing your time sa ato karon sa Negosyo TV. Ikaw mga ito season ender, no? Salamat kayo for sharing your expertise again sa atong season 2 nga nagkukakaroon o pas sa carbonara. Again, Chef, salamat. Bakit kayong salamat. Salamat. Thank you, Jonas. It's my pleasure. Okay. Yes. Okay, now, mga monsterpreneur. It's me again, your host for today. I am Jonas. Sales Associate slash conversion of Monster Kitchen Academy. Sailing, bye-bye, and happy weekend. We can help you and excel you. Ingredients, cooking lessons, kitchen accessories.